longevity, man. I heard you perform that one night, man, and it, it struck me. It struck a real chord with me, man. I love John Mayer's music. I love Coldplay's music. I love Crap. I feel like that's the record I wish I'd wrote. I had a chance to ask John Mayer a question at this Q&A at a sound check through Grammy U again. And um, I asked him, you know, what was your inspiration behind Gravity? And he said, you know, and I, I asked him, like, you know, what, what, what makes you, what, what do you feel about Gravity? And he said, you know, I came to a place we used to, to where I was just singing a lot. And I was just playing a lot. And he said, I just wanted to sing more. Gravity. And he wanted to step back. Just let the music take control. Because Gravity is really a simple record. And it's about him not falling from any wrong with grace that he's on at the moment. And so that's like, that's everybody. Gravity is such a universal tune that everybody wants that. No one wants to be in darkness. Everybody wants to be where the light is. And so gravity, I mean, the song just says, just keep me where the light is. You know, keep me in success. Keep me in prosperity. Keep me where, where the grass is green. So gravity just talks about how gravity is this force that tries to bring everybody down. It can manifest itself in different ways, different energies and stuff like that. But, you know, gravity is just that idea that, you know, no one wants to be held down by it. You know, the sky's the limit. So when I perform that record, I just try to get into it and do justice to the record. I feel like that record is, is, is incredible. It's a timeless time. You know, whenever you play, like, timeless records, you become a part of that record. You become a part of the music, right? inside of you, just that whole blue spill, and when it gets to the end, and the background is singing the ooze, and the guitar solo, and the, uh, and the music just rises, I feel like that's like, that's what I want my career to be about, staying where the light is. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You and that ink pen, y'all got a special relationship. Like, some of my favorites right now, man, that I listen to, stuff to keep me going. Like, I like the good live music, like what you do. Yeah. Mint condition. I love stuff like that, man. Like, uh, the live bands, man. It's, it's, it's a homegirl of mine I got called Prima Lene. Like, she's actually signed to Interscope. Like, she's a beast. Like, who are some of the people right now that you're listening to that you're like, wow, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple of them. Um, Paramore, Haley Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a chick. Yes, sir. Her vocals are super on point. And the whole Paramore band, I love their songs. Crush, crush, crush. That's what you get when your heart wins. Um, Hallelujah. They, they have some great records. I've been listening to them. Kings of Leon is great. Now, I'm not hip to Kings of Leon. You got to put me on that. Kings of Leon is, is like a new, I'd say, modern rock band. I think it was great. Great, great. Um, I really like Beyonce's record, Sasha Fields, and I'm Sasha Fields. That's a great record. Randy yeah. just came out with a record, Human. Incredible. Piano Man, Hardy, and Alpha Bello joint that she did on that record. Ooh, sick really. Kanye, I like Kanye's new record. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I, I know I might catch a foot to the behind, man, but. I'm, the Kanye West the really that the one that I really love the most man is that registration. Yeah, like it, it's just it's something about the boards and 
yeah. the different keys that he was in. But, you know, I guess I'm not even going to sit here and debate you with nobody, man. No, I don't know. Like, that, it's all in where you are at that time, man. Yeah. That's for who that's for. I'm not with the 808s and heartbreak. Yeah. I'm not heartbroken. I, right I like that in Love Lockdown. I, I didn't really like it when he performed it, I think, on the BMAs because you couldn't really hear the 808. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was like, I couldn't really hear the beat, but I'm anticipating a lot of albums. I okay. think Outkast, Andre 3000 is coming out with that. We're Wait. in Atlanta. This is the city of Atlanta. This is the city. This, this is Outkast's city. city. This is my city. This is my city too. Huh? It's our city. Popular Music Academy lives here. Jimmy and Rain lives here. Convict lives here. Convict music. <laughs> I'm so paid. <laughs> Certified up till I get money. Get money. Oh, why you wanna count my money? It's money. I just had to do that, man. No. Hey, Con, don't get mad at me, man. We love you. Yeah, but Drake, Drake's coming out with a record in 2009. I'm coming out with a record in 2009. I'm really looking forward to Carrie Hilson's record. I really want to see what Yo. what's coming out on it. I even told her this to her face, and, and I know it's her UK single. Yeah. But Return to Favorite is the joint. Like, yeah. like I know it, it's on something else, but, you know, I... I like the joint with Lil Wayne and all, you know, I understand. You're taking me off, you taking me off, that's all right. Yeah. But Return to Favor gave me something, bro. That was yeah. like, I'm, yeah. I'm on something else when it comes to that right I like music. energy, and I'm looking forward right. uh, to the to the upcoming singles off our record, because I think she's a great songwriter, and I enjoy her plight. I like her voice. There's also some other artists that are coming out that I'm actually doing a show with. That uh -oh. I think going to be great. I feel like there's some artists that I just expect on point. Matthew Johnson, best male singer in the world. And did we not just shoot? We just had him on. They might be taping. Yeah, and it's an honor for me to, to write songs with him to help to be a part of his project that's coming out, me and Rain. Also, Shantae Cannon, one of the best female singers in the world. Woo! Her voice, I saw her at Sugar Hill, her voice evokes angels. It's just like an angelic presence that comes along with it, man. Wow. She sings notes that people don't even think about. Wow. India's gonna be playing. India's gonna be singing. Micah Keogh's gonna be there. Okay. Jazzy Faye's new artist from Atlanta. And these are all A-Town artists, man. And we're having a show at the Vino Libro December 27th at 8 p.m. <laughs> Check it out. It's a free show. You know what? I just wanted to put together a show, like a holiday show. A bunch of my friends that I love come out and do great music. The key word that he said in that sentence was free. Free, boys. Free. You understand what I'm saying? Free means you can get off your behind and come because F it's free. F-R-E-E. -E. Free. Even the flyer said free. <laughs> Can you focus on that master cameraman? <laughs> I mean, which one get you want to Get a close-up on that. Can you get a close-up on the free? <laughs> free! <laughs> Give us free! You see, folks, folks so hype about it being free, they honking horns out here. <laughs> they love the word free! They know what it is when Jimmy come out. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I just had to do that. <laughs> it's gonna be a free show. And uh, we're excited about it. It's gonna be a great show. I mean... This is the city of music. Atlanta is the city of music. You know, Los Angeles is the city of angels. New York is the city that never sleeps. Atlanta is the city of music. And right now, Atlanta's the city of Jimmy Crab. You know city what I'm saying? Of Jimmy I'm gonna step back out of the camera so y'all can understand what I'm talking about right now. Popular Music Academy's home. This is my home. This is where I grew up. Atlanta. The zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Park, Piedmont Park, Adamsville, 99X. I really wish they would bring that back to terrestrial radio. Organic Jones, Leslie Fram, Grammys. What else Atlanta has? Six Flags, Atlantic Station, you can just add. Atlanta. Underground. Underground. Spank Garden. Icon. Tree Sound. Outcast. TLC, Waterfalls, Lil John, Manchester Orchestra. This is Atlanta. It's my city. And who are you? And my name is Jimmy Cravity, a popular muse. <laughs>